Hello figure enthusiasts and welcome to Scale the Fairs, where I will take a closer look on scale figures, price figures and nandroids alike. Today's figure is Gan Puku no Himegimi, also known as Altir from Recreators, released in late 2019 by Good Smile Company. The first thing you will notice when you buy this figure is that the box is huge. For funsies I calculated the cubic meter amount of all the figure boxes I bought in 2019 and with a 0.027 Altir is leading this list and if a 0.027 doesn't sound like a significant number to you, the current Nando package has a size of 0.0021 cubic meters. Once you take her out of the beautiful design box, you will find Alter embedded in a plastic blister with her base and the weapon stored separately. I guess one reason why this box is so big is that they have used the same one for the version that comes with a separate circle of sorts, because here the blister looks kinda empty. Mounting gun Kunu Himegimi is pretty easy thanks to the metal pins on her base, which provide a solid stand even if the diameter is smaller than the actual model. It also leads to the fact that this 1 to 8 scale figure seems larger than your average release. But if you need a reminder of the scale that we are dealing with here, take a closer look at the head. You will notice that the facial area is not that big and her eyes don't have this vast amount of details that some larger scales provide. The facial expression is fine and fits the overall tone of the figure. The real star however is something else, but I'm getting ahead of myself. On the right side I've summarized some of this figure's key details. I basically pre-ordered this figure because of her cool design and as a counterpart to my Meteora figure from another manufacturer. Since Altir has the same scale, I thought it would make for a nice scenery on my showcase and it totally did. Also I watched the show and if you are a Recreators fan, it's either these two figures or nothing. Luckily they are both really nice figures, even if it feels like good smile, cheap out on certain parts of our little antagonist. First of all, you will notice that because of her uniform, this figure has some very large flat colored areas and those are prone to have scratches or imperfections on it. Also her petticoat is rather unspectacular, yes you can see her legs and the panties, but those two thin layers of plastic, especially the one with the metallic coated border, looks a bit cheap. In general all those metallic parts are not that great in my opinion. If you watched my last episode on Sana, you can clearly see that her metallic finish is on a completely different level. I would say the only part of the paint job that really stands out to me are those brown holsters and of course her weapons. It still baffles me how much care and details they put into this tommy gun and the sword. This has to be one of the most detailed 1 to 8 accessories I have ever come across on any figure. So if you need a very detailed machine gun and a sword, buy this figure now. If you need multiple swords, you can also upgrade to her special version with that summon circle around her. Honestly, I don't mind to pay a little premium for extra stuff, but in her case this transparent plastic circle on Figma cranes looked so out of place that I only bought the standard version while almost saving 6000 yen. Yeah, I know, crazy. The design of her base is alright and I still believe it should resemble the head of a bullet. My only complaint is that they made it with this weird glossy translucent plastic when all the other parts of this figure are either grey or brown and flat colored. Another odd design choice is the shape of her hair. At first they look pretty standard, but if you take a closer look you can see that they are really flat and the edges are all straight. Almost like this one type of pasta, what is it called, tagliatelle? However, they are giving this figure a very unique presence and have some beautiful curved lines. All in all, Good Smiles Altier is a very aesthetic figure and insanely decorative, almost like a saint statue. Unfortunately, the lower part of her lacks in detail and the special version is way overpriced. In my opinion, they should have only released one version with a cleverer mounting system for all the swords while adding 2000 yen to her base price. As already stated, if you are a fan of this series, there is either this figure or the one named after my country. You know a show gets no laugh at all when after all these years there is still only one Nandroid away label. Next time I will take a closer look on a figure I've already made a picture with, AC8's Kathu Shino from Is the Order a Rabbit. Until then, take care and keep collecting those gorgeous figures.